Hey guys, this is Nadia from Ebonic Crafts, and in this video I want to show you how to make a micro pendant. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I upload new stuff on a regular basis. I quite often make kits and PDF tutorials for the videos I put up on here, and I'll pop a link in the description below. Um, I also have all sorts of gemstones, square and half round wire, some beads and all sorts of other goodies on my website. So take a gander over and see if there's anything you fancy. Last but not least, come and join us in our uh, wire wrappers and metalsmiths group on Facebook. I'll also pop a link below. Right, let's get started. Right, so we need to take our wire and straighten that a bit i'm going to fold it in half like so i'm going to be creating a v shape just fold it in and the same on the other side i'm going to make it just big enough so it can actually hold the um the round gemstone like so so obviously you don't want it too wide so we're just going to bend up the bail to do the same on the other side so just try and line it up obviously then we put the bend in like so it's cute but you know, you'll fix it up for the next step Nice and fold through so we've just got enough space so we can actually rest on the wires so now we're going to create the bell and for that we cut a short piece of wire this is half round we just anchor it so this is 0 0.6 which is your 22 gauge and we're just wrapping it until we get all the way to the top so we've created the bell so now we need to shape it so I'm going to grab a pair of pliers decide which is going to be the front and which is the back we're going to bend them upwards angle like that and we're just going to shape it you can use a pen or a tool around anything that's round quite small to create this so we're just going to come chat and we're going to be attaching these wires to the frame it's quite small so you might find it a little bit fiddly it's going to attach one side and also do the other side exactly the same so we've attached and now we're just going to get rid of all the half round wires on the side like so sorry the last step for some reason didn't record um, all I've done is I've folded these little wires over the front and what we're going to do now is just adjust them so that they create a nice tight little curve and that we can create a space for the round stone to sit in so we're going to adjust these to make this a little bit smaller All right so i've got these adjusted a little bit so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a curve for the stone so we need to come back in so just gently folding the wire back in to create a curve 
for the stone. We're going to be doing the same on the other side. So, just take your time with that. And if there's any nicks and marks in the wire, you can polish that out at a later stage. So just creating, obviously you want it to be tight enough so that it fits over the stone when we place the stone in it. So just arrange it so that it's nice and round. So arrange a little bit more. So we're going to bring this up a little bit because we're going to fold the legs through the middle like that. So just take your time with that. And try not to twist and not to mark the wire if at all possible. Just going to just pull that through. Put your thumb over. And then we're going to be attaching this wire to the frame. So this is quite delicate obviously at this stage because it's so tiny. So just bring that round and obviously tighten that up a little bit so that the stone fits within the gap. We're going to be doing the same obviously with the other side. So feed that through like so. And just try as much as you can not to mark or twist the wire at this stage. Just going to bring the three and once you're satisfied with the shape, make it nice and round, we're going to be attaching the wire to the bottom here. So I'm just going to fix this up and then we're going to be attaching the wires. Okay, so I've prepped them as best as I can. So I've used some round nose pliers to shape these a little bit. It helps you better than a square does. So the way I'm attaching these, I very gently press on one side like so, so that keeps everything in place. And then I am twisting the wire around um, and that kind of shape. So if this wire is marked at this stage, don't worry about it because you can polish out, you can polish out um, any marks later with a, a um, radial brush or maybe some sandpaper. So it's not too critical if there are any marks in the wire. So I've wedged it in place on the one side and attached it and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So put your finger over the stone and then we're going to feed the wire through the frame. You may have to well, trim some off because I don't actually need that longer length. It's much easier to manipulate the wire without that much of a length. It's easier to feed it through. So keep your finger over the stone so it doesn't move. And then just manipulate the wire and this will keep the stone in place. So now you're going to adjust it so that everything is wedged in place properly. So you've got all the wires attached and you want to make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical and the stone held in place where it's supposed to. Right, so I have taken the stone out and I'm just going to polish. So sometimes when you create... Um, tiny things like that with really fine wires, you'll mark your wires and I usually polish these out with these rotary um, uh, circular tools, the little bits that I have I've made a video on how to polish um, I will pop a link in the description below so all you're going to do is just um, run this over, so take your stone out if you can, it's quite easy at this stage because you just bend open the frame and then you can just sort of remove any tool markings now it will probably remove some of the square wire profile especially with the um the larger grits but it will get rid of all the tool marks so that works quite well so once you're satisfied I'm just going to pop the stone back in so i'm taking it from the back and i'm just sliding it in to the frame which i've bent this one open earlier and I'm just squeezing it shut so that it wedges the stone back in place. Obviously you need to just do some adjusting as well from, from the side and the front. We're going to be adding some more wires to give it a little bit more 
uh, purchase so but at this stage this is what it looks like so next we're going to create some mini coils and um, I have made a video on how to make coils and I will also pop a link of this below so put our base wire and we're going to be attaching this newly made coil here just try and keep it nice and straight and just take your time and one bonus of it being so fine is that it's quite easy to manipulate so just take your time a little bit more to hold on to So just continue until you've got it all wrapped up. So next we're going to use the leftover wire from the small coil to fill in the gaps between each sort of um, revolution. That will make the, the finished coil look a lot more smooth and less rustic because it kind of creates a smoother look and finish to that. So create two identical coils, these tiny coils made, and now we're going to be attaching them to the pendants. I'm just going to feed it through the top here, and I'm going to place it as closely as I can to the top, and then we're going to bring it around and attach it to the frame somewhere at the bottom. I'm going to bring it round and then just give it a wrap or two and tighten that up like so. We're going to obviously be doing the same at the top and on the other side also. So next we're going to create a mini prong setting. Um, I have made a video for this to, for this um, setting. I will pop a link to that below as well. Um, I just like to keep my videos short-ish so I tend to break them up into different sections but there is a quick video following and also a link in the description. First we're going to create five small prongs and we're going to be bending those prongs over using two pairs of pliers. So once you have created the prongs we're going to fold these in on each other so that the tips face each other. And once you're satisfied with that we're going to be bending one leg around the other like so to tighten up the setting once you're done with that we're going to open up the prong and we're going to place a stone inside tighten the prongs over the stone okay so i'm going to add this i think here to the middle of the pendant because it's nice and protected and it's quite delicate still because it's so small so i'm going to put it just below and then we're going to flip the pendant over and we're going to find a place on the frame where you can attach left or right so just find a place you can attach one side on the left and then the other on the right and just make sure that they are securely attached and pull it nice and tight all right so i've attached the stone and i'm going to put a bead and i want to use these wires to go over the stone just to give it a little bit more um, stability so we can get these two wires through slide this on we're going to fold this up and put this over the side just to give it some extra protection we're going to be running these alongside the um the coils so you can just place it over you want to bring it out the side here do the same on the other side and then we're going to be attaching these wires around the frame here as well and then 
let's see if we're going to cut them off or do something else with that so we're going to be doing the same on the other side through and just find a spot and then obviously just arrange them the way you'd like them to look and that gives you a little bit more protection for that tiny little stone so i'm going to be attaching these wires in a frame taking them through the top and just secure them like that. Do the same on the other side as well. Right, so we've got these wires from the bead at the bottom coming out on the sides here, and I'm taking a tiny little bead. Luckily, these have got fantastically large drill holes. I'm going to feed two of them through the one mil bead and then this is a two mil so I actually managed to break the wires coming from the back so I've just tucked them away at the back and what I've done here is I've just taken another piece of um, 0 0.4 mil wire and I've wrapped it around the bell and I've added three beads which I've pushed up all the way and I'm going to bring these through the center here and that will add a nice little accent to the pendant so because I've broken the wires I was able to attach the wires a little bit further up the top so we can get a little bit more space in so we're adding these and obviously push them up and pull them through as much as we can and obviously arrange them they're a little bit arched here so i'm just going to pull them through some more and we're going to attach them again wherever you can find space at the back of the frame all right so i've turned everything off so we've got this leftover wire so we just want to bring these around the front and attach them to the bell at the front because i want to create some detail with those so it's so take your time with that obviously it's tiny and if you need to use your tools to help you i think this wire is a little bit kinked here yeah? that's why it's not making really a nice circle so i'm just going to have to adjust that in a minute but this is basically what i want to do so bring the other wire from the back bring it around the front as well we're just going to shape is going around the bell. So we're going to feed this through the middle. Like so. Doesn't want to go through. So obviously be careful you don't pull too hard, otherwise you're gonna undo like I did just now. You're gonna undo that swirl. And we do the same. The next wire, if you keep your finger, your thumb over that, it might be a little bit easier. So anyway, you're just going to arrange, create more swirls, and then we're going to trim off. Right, so once you're happy with the wires, you're going to come and trim them off. All right, so we've attached these. So I'm just going to bring this in. For this, by the way, I didn't say earlier, but you can also attach some square wire, which I've done here, or reuse the round wires that were already attached. Um, I just always like to use square wire profile because it looks pretty when you do the swirls anyway. <clears throat> so you can just use that instead. And uh, this is 0 0.4, I think it's 28, no, sorry, 26 gauge square wire. Right, now once we're done, I'm just going to trim off all the wires. And then the next step is to obviously polish and put the pendant in loss and polish it up. And that's the pendant done.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, and I would absolutely love it if you would come and visit me on my social media. I've got Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, and if you fancy it at all, we've got an artist group on Facebook, which is called Wire Rappers and Metal Smiths Worldwide. We're a fun bunch and um, come and join us. And as I said earlier, if you want to buy any kits of the tutorials I put up on here, PDF tutorials, gemstones, beads and wire, um, I've got all of that on my website. So as always, there is a link in the description. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.